I think my speech will be kind of close to the, the themes proposed by Arcangelo, but I'm approaching this from a more theoretical point of view to start the, the whole presentation. So I will provide you some definitions. Uh, the first two definitions are, uh, were provided by uh, Drucker, Joanna Drucker, and she posed a distinction between what is data and what is capta. So data are those objective observations of facts. For example, think about uh, the definition of the dimension of a painting, while on capta um, represent the selection, opinions, controversies, or interpretation, for example, attributions of a painting, that actually add interest and value to scholarly knowledge. So if we think about critical discourse in the humanities, most of the debates and the um, uh, the analysis made on cultural heritage um, artifacts and properties are actually following into the CAPTA um, definition. So the last definition I will give you is weaker logical status claims. They fall under the definition of CAPTA and are those claims whose truth value cannot be given for granted. So for example, uncertain, debated claims or hypotheses. In the current state of knowledge graph um, regarding cultural heritage domain, the problem has been tackled. For example, for CDOC CRM presents the property of attribute assignment, uh, which allows to express some kind of um, interpretations. For example, contrasting attribution can be uh, encoded with attribute assignments. The Europeana data model and the overall Europeana uh, database um, allows to represent conflicting information since information are provided from different institutions and they can be conflicting, of course. So via proxy um, and aggregators, it's possible to represent even uh, these uh, concurring interpretations, but actually is, they are not visible on the interface and it's not possible to understand how they decide uh, which claim is the most, uh, is the one decided to be the true. Uh, the Netherlands RC Institute catalog uh, presents uh, a browsing interface of all the artworks in the catalog, and um, they also present contested and discarded attributions among the overall attributions of the, of the collection using a, some kind of ADM, a tuning of the ADM data model. In this case, it's not possible to really uh, perform Sparkle queries on the data set, but still um, they, they encoded them with ADM data model. Finally, Wikidata is uh, I, the, the biggest knowledge graph existent. It is a collaborative platform and for sure, for the same reasons, um, several approaches have been designed to represent complex knowledge and even discard, um, concurrent attributions and interpretations since uh, the platform is collaborative. Additionally, it presents three million works of art uh, in, in the collection, and surveying all these um, knowledge graphs and models uh, to understand how this kind of knowledge is encoded, we uh, decided to dig deep into Wikidata, since we think that it could picture uh, um, a nice overview of how critical debate is presented in current knowledge graphs. So Wikidata uh, has three main approaches. We, we survey three main approaches uh, on how Wikidata represent this kind of knowledge. The first one is superseded claims. So they are represented via this ranking mechanism that actually uh, attaches a, va a value to each claim, which can be preferred, normal, or deprecated, depending on the value of true of, this, of such claim. For example, take this painting that at some point was uh, attributed to Raphael, which is marked, as you can see in the image, uh, with a normal rank, while now it has been attributed to uh, Gianfranco Penny, which you can see in green. This means that the, the statement is preferred. The second um, approach we analyzed is qualified claims. So as Arcangelo said, in uh, Wikidata present qualifiers, and qualifiers are those additional triples to decorate the claim, annotating several additional information towards the claim. In this case, we analyze the nature of the statement and the sourcing circumstances of each, each statement. Take, for example, 
uh, this painting, Abstract Speed and Sound, by Giacomo Valla, which has been described as being possibly part of a triptych. triptych. So this means that even this claim can be categorized as a weaker logical status claim. And finally, we also analyze unknown values. This means that, as for the example, this illuminated manuscript from, from the 14th century has been recorded both with an unknown creator and an unknown author. In this case, the unknown values are represented in the RDF as blank nodes. So, um, how we acquire the data? We perform several, uh, wiki, uh, several Sparkle queries on the Wikidata endpoint to select a, a list of entities we were interested in. And through the Wikidata API, we downloaded a set of JSON uh, files containing all the metadata regarding those entities. So the, the first data set uh, has all three million works of art stored in Wikidata. And uh, we wanted to compare those data with 2.4 million astronomical entities to understand how different communities encode this kind of knowledge. But at uh, the first survey on the three million works of art in Wikidata, we noticed that actually they are encoded very differently. So even metadata are very different for different kind of cultural heritage properties. So we, did, we decided to divide the data set in three subsets. The first one is visual heritage having 13 million claims. The second one is the textual heritage having 5 million claims and audiovisual heritage uh, with 17 million claims. It has been done semi-automatically. And we decided to remove architecture-related entities because they were not statistically relevant and even the statistical rumor to have more accurate uh, results. So the analysis is based on four main research questions. The first one is how widespread and successful are those weaker logical status claims and approaches in the current state of Wikidata. So actually, the, the representation is very poor. It's less than 1% for what concerns cultural heritage data. And even if we know that actually Wikidata is focusing on community consensus and establishing knowledge, we believe that this is a lower uh, picture of, the, of what happens in real world. So even because it testified that um, almost 60% of the overall classi classes regarding uh, um, cultural heritage data are actually presenting at least one weaker logical status claim. So we decided to um, compare Wikidata results for what concerns um, discarded attributions to the RKD catalog discovering that actually 8.5% um, of the attribution present in the RKD catalog are discarded, while, while only 0.4% of uh, discarded attributions uh, are present in Wikidata, which seems to be a low figure with respect to what we can see in specialistic knowledge, for example, in a catalog. Um, I'm showing this table just to highlight some uh, nice insights uh, over the analysis. And the first one is that, uh, as you can see, for what concerns the three cultural heritage data sets, uh, the percentage of weaker logical status uh, against all the, all the claims in Wikidata is suspiciously low if compared to the astronomy, since it's less than 1% for co what concerns cultural heritage and 30% and 5% for what concerns astronomy. The second interesting thing is that actually in uh, cultural heritage data, there is a huge interest in recording contextual information towards uncertainty. And this, this doesn't happen in astronomy since, as you can see, uh, for what concern all the qualified terms, uh, they are very, very low for what concern uh, astronomy. So we can say that probably uh, humanistic uncertainty uh, needs to express even motivations when annotating these kind of statements. So the second research question is how does the cultural heritage annotators use these surveyed methods to encode such claims? And uh, in the first row you can see the three cultural heritage data sets and the second row represents the, um, the astronomical data sets and the colors represent the, the methods we surveyed. And as you can see, the figures from cultural heritage are way more colorful. This means that there is a huge overlap 
um, on how this, uh, this data is encoded. So while the cultural heritage data set seems to employ all the listed methods, the astronomical data set seems to employ exclusively the ranked statements. And we can guess that humanities communities uses weaker logical status claims for a larger set of uncertainties and even properties. And this can be two uh, different kinds of uncertainty behind it. For example, ignorance, scholarly interpretations, or disagreements. So we, we've surveyed more deeply the qualified claims, since we noticed this interest in the community to mark the reasons of uncertainty. And we discovered that actually the terms referred to qualified uncertainty in Wikidata are kind of huge. So uh, in all Wikidata, it, it, the two figures uh, show how, uh, this, how many terms are implied in, uh, in all Wikidata and, and just in the cultural heritage cluster of entities. And we can see that too many terms are available and we have also huge overlapping between different properties implying these terms. So we can say that there is no uh, clear semantic between this. So we can see that qualifier represents provenance details, domain-specific terms, for example, show election, declared, deserted, that are not really suiting our purpose, and qualifiers that truly consider um, and the weaker logical status of a claim. For example, possibly disputed, expected. So this seems to imply that the semantic associated to these values and the properties themselves, the qualifiers themselves, may have an unclear, may, may be unclear to the contributors, which may use them in unpredictable ways. So the third research question is, which are the situations actually represented by the surveyed approach in the cultural heritage domain? And by analyzing the data, we notice that each of the, um, of the approaches surveyed actually are used for multiple purposes and not just to record, of course, weaker logical status claims. For example, null-valued statements were the most difficult to understand, and we try to categorize how these uh, statements are uh, actually implied in Wikidata. For example, uh, blank notes are, using, are, are just errors sometimes. Sometimes they are used as a sort of reification for, for um, pre-existing database automatic conversions. Uh, sometimes to feed the model, uh, just uh, trying to translate for one um, data model to another. Sometimes the value do, do, does not exist, but is still uh, recorded in the knowledge base. And sometimes it uh, indicates that the value exists, but is not known, which is uh, the, the, the thing we are interested in. The same for ranked statements. So the, the superseded claims are referring actually to different kind kinds of situations. For example, just evolving situation through time. For example, after the restoration of a painting, the, even the depiction of the painting changes. Evolving knowledge, so actual debate. For example, new attributions emerge for a painting. Or the less favored version. So for example, for a title of a book which has a preferred language is indicated in Wikidata as a preferred claim. But this is not critical debate for sure. And finally, we deem that weaker logical status qualified claims are the most um, useful and precise way to mark this kind of uncertainty in the cultural heritage domain. But still, since the terms are so much and there's no taxonomy behind the terms, it's very difficult to try to understand um, and, and to uh, query this kind of data. So, for example, qualified statement, weaker logical status qualified statement may involve imprecision for example, circa for dates, uh, answer, real uncertainties, contextualizing qualifiers, or cautioning qualifiers, for example, about frequency. So since no taxonomy is provided behind these terms in Wikidata, it's kind of difficult to automatically distinguish different types of Wikilogical status claims uh, from a Sparkle query, for example. So is there a way to improve the clarity of cleanness of such differentiations? One of the ideas we came up with is using grounded theory approach to understand and study all the terms referred to uncertainty in, uh, in Wikidata, since we believe that actually 
all these terms are genuinely and naturally being uh, introduced by annotators for a reason. So we survey all the terms and we came up with three main categories of, uh, of uncertainty that we are still working on. So th this, this is the um, work in progress part of the work. So we noticed that for what concerns qualifiers, there exist only on cultural heritage data, there exist 45 terms which um, are actually expressing ac approximations of data which are, is not really the focus of our project. So, for example, temporal, spatial, and mathematical approximations. And we believe that uh, there's a huge overlap with different specific qualifiers used in Wikidata. So th this is one of the main categories of the, of, of the overall use of these terms. The second one is there exist 30 terms to refer to uncertainty going from frequency and categorical approximations and even uncertainty markers, for example, just a question mark. We believe that actually uh, a solution to this can be just to use a scale with five or seven items to uh, just rank the, the uncertainty of a claim from one to five or one to seven, which we, we believe we can suffice. And finally, what we want to do is to reorganize the taxonomy provided by annotators in Wikidata in order to classify those claims uh, and uh, providing reason and motivation for why a claim is not true anymore or is uh, in some way a Wikirological status claim. So we, um, we um, analyzed uh, all these terms and we came up with uh, 30 terms to define the type of a claim, of a weaker logical status claim, for example, hypotheses, estimations, or just debated claims, and the reason for why a, a, a claim has been uh, defined as a weaker logical status. So, for example, the reason for uh, the, its unreliability, uh, the reason why uh, it is unknown or uh, the source is incomplete, uh, the reason for falsity of the, of the claims and uh, the reason of um, and, and the evolving reality, that, which means that exactly like the, the, just the reality evolved through time and so the ch the, or even the claim is changed. So the conclusion of the overall work is that few statements are actually weaker logical status claims uh, in, uh, in Wikidata, even if compared with more, spe uh, more specific sources, for example, the RKD catalog. The data set, uh, data set coming from different domains, for example, the astronomic and the cultural heritage data, seem to provide a really different figure of how this kind of knowledge is encoded. And Wikidata provides a clear picture of how cultural heritage annotators' practices uh, are, are used when annotating Wikilogical status claims. So we can notice so even that the overabundance of methods and the large overlapping um, in the uses um, seems to actually lower the figure and probably even uh, make annotators reticence in adding this kind of information. And even if Wikilogical status claims can be expressed in Wikidata, we can see that there is a lack of trust, trust and contextual information in the overall um, definition of the problem. So it seems that weaker logical status claims are tackled more as a side effect from Wikidata, and we believe that accurate gu guidelines and probably a taxonomy of how to encode this kind of knowledge can really help annotators in um, adding this kind of information into Wikidata and in knowledge graphs in general. <laughs>